What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? This is a force of nature, spiritual awakening, and I'm back with another Mars and the sign video. So first, I want to say thank you to everybody that's been tuning in, liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell. Please make sure you hit that bell so you keep getting the notifications every time. Thank you. I appreciate all the love and support. Okay? So, today we're going to be discussing Mars in Pisces. So first, we're going to address Mars and what Mars is really all about. Mars is the planet of passion desire. It has to do with being proactive and activity out into the world. Mars also has to do with courage, your fighting spirit, your warrior soul, okay? Mars is all about war and war warlike situations. So Pisces, Pisces is the sign of being very highly psychic, intuitive, a dreamy nature, okay? These people, they dream a lot what they're going to do, their goals, and all that kind of good stuff. And they also are very spiritual. They're very much connected to the universe. And also with the sign of Pisces, these people have lived many past lives before. So now, Pisces ruling planets are Jupiter and Neptune. Jupiter has to do with expansion. It has to do with opportunity, luck, possibility, blessings. It has to do with higher knowledge. It has to do with anything that's philosophical information, okay? Obtaining knowledge and wisdom. Jupiter is very wise. Also, Neptune which is their planet also that rules over them. Neptune is about spirituality. However, it also brings that fog and that haziness, okay? So it is about illusion, disillusion. It's also about, how do I say this? It's also about being uncertain, okay? Unsure of things, okay? So, we're going to jump right into this. Mars and Pisces, women and men. So now, Mars and Pisces, women and men, they are here and they want to emerge with somebody on a very deep, intimate level. These people are very wise. Okay, very wise people, very wise souls. They also hold inside of them. Okay, a warrior spirit on the spiritual side. Okay, these people are dreamers. They dream of their goals. They dream of what they want to do, what they want to become. And they can really be great visionaries and really look at things from the perspective of how they want to manifest this into their lives. These people are amazing people. These people are highly creative, okay? They have many talents. It's not just one. These people can be artists. They can be singers. They can do poetry, okay? Rappers. These are these type of people. These people are good with their hands. Also, they can be spiritual leaders. These people have a lot of of gifts with inside them. These people are connected to the universe in a strong, committed way. Okay? It's just like that. They're connected with the universe. They're connected with the earth. Okay? These are the type of people that can go on long walks, long travels. Okay, they have this with inside their cells. They could be in the forest. They're very well, very good at martial arts. Okay, yoga, meditating. Okay, getting in touch within their cells. These people are great with this. Okay, so you can even see them as being uh, boxers. These people know how to fight. They have a fighting spirit mentally and physically. Okay. 
Got to keep that in mind. But definitely with this placement, Mars in Pisces, and I do know people with this placement. These people are very um, kind. These people are very gentle. But you know, there's always two sides to a coin. Okay? These people are this way. Okay? And what they really seek out and what they really want, they really seek out peace. They want to be peaceful. They want to enjoy a beautiful, comfortable life. They want to be able to um, enjoy all the comforts and, and, and take full uh, ability to be able to grasp everything that's around them. They want to know what makes this grow. They want to know what makes you tick. They want to know who you are. Okay, they want to know who they are. These people can be very romantic people, men or women, it doesn't matter. These people can be very romantic and have a poetic heart, a poetic soul. These are the type of people that um really, when they have a goal in mind, okay, they can definitely just sit back and say to their staff, do I feel this from my soul? Okay, when they're in a relationship, a lot of times their relationships can very well be karmic relationships, even relationships from their past lives, okay, that they're coming back again and doing it again, figuring it out, okay, or not going to figure it out, okay, but a lot of their relationships and it doesn't have to be a partnership. It can be friendships also, even family dynamics. These people can feel things from their soul. They feel it inside of them. It's just intense. Okay, it's an intense thing within them. They're very much going to actually be led to uh, move towards a more spiritual uh, path. Because this is exactly what Mars wants to do with them. Okay, draw them more to the spiritual realm. Have them more in tune. So this is why these people feel how they feel on many different levels. And sometimes it can even be very much confusing to them on how they feel. You know, why do I feel the way I feel? Why do I feel so drawn to this person? Why do I feel like I should be here instead of over there? You know, so they really do feel these things on a high octave level. Okay, these people are extremely psychic. This placement, Mars and Pisces, are very psychic. They're in tune with their feelings. They're in tune with your feelings. If they fuck with you or deal with you, they're in tune with what's going on around them. Okay? These people definitely um, have a strong connection to the universe. It's almost like they are being protected by the universe every single day. But don't get it twisted because these people have been through a lot of shit. These people have been through the ringer, ups and downs, highs and lows. These people have been through some intense, severe things, okay, that shape their minds into different ways. And this is exactly why... Nine times out of ten, these people can very well be drawn towards anything that has to do with being spiritual. And it could be religious. Or it could just very well just be spirituality. It can be astrology. These people can be amazing astrologers. Um, doing tarot card readings, okay? Breaking down your birth chart, all right? Being birth chart analysts. Things of this nature. All of this, these people hold with inside their selves. And 10 times more things on top of that. So now what you do need to understand is anytime you have a Pisces placement in your natal birth chart, okay, what this means is that you have already experienced many past lives before, okay? I always say this. So with this placement, these people have already um, experienced all the Mars and signs already. 
Okay, so then you know that these people are very wise, very intelligent. They accumulated a lot of knowledge in their past lives, okay? So they're very seasoned, very experienced. These people know a lot of shit, okay? This is not their first trip. This is their many, many trips, <laughs> okay, coming. So now they're here and they're Mars and Pisces, okay? So these people are going to feel things on a very deep level, a very deep Octum level, okay? These people are dreamers and also very well. These people can have um, many different kind of dreams that are really tapping into a different world, a different dimension. These people can definitely have dreams and their dreams can even be warlike situations. These people can have dreams and be fighting in their dreams. They can be going to war in their dreams. They can have some real um, nightmares in their dreams because these people have been through a lot of different things, okay? They could be dreaming and be fighting for a cause, fighting for a loved one. You know, this comes back into their subconscious mind. You have to remember that the 12th house, okay, and I don't know if I said it, but I'm going to say it now, um, Pisces rules over the 12th house. The 12th house has to do with your subconscious mind. It has to do with spirituality, your undoings. Hospitals, it has to do with that. Jails, it has to do with that. Also, it shows you things that are hidden, okay? Hidden knowledge, hidden information. But it's more so things that are actually being hidden from you, okay? Very similar to the 8th house, but the 8th house has to do with things that you hide from yourself, okay? But with Pisces, this is that house, okay? So, anytime you have a Mars in Pisces placement, these people are going to feel things from their soul, Okay? They're going to be drawn to people, okay, that they can um, have a soul bond connection with, all right? Don't get it twisted. Of course, you can meet somebody and, hey, how you doing? But when it comes down to the one-on-one -on -one interaction, it's purely coming from their soul. Okay, so now Mars and Pisces, these people also um, do... Do very well in martial arts. They're very good with their hands, okay? You know, Mars is the planet of war. So these people are going to be fully equipped, fully able, ready, and prepared for that. These people are good with their hands, okay? They can be um, masters at boxing, wrestling, okay? They can be probably in the woods, just exercising this, you know, meditating, getting that alone time, making sure that their mind is clear because these people definitely um, need to make sure that they do meditate and they do get that deep rooted uh, alone time so that they can figure things out. Because a lot of times with this placement, these people definitely will um, have a little bit of a conflict. You know what I'm saying? Within their minds on what road they should take, which way they should go. You know, should it be over here? Should I do this over there? But their hearts are so pure. Their hearts are so kind and gentle. You know, these are definitely the type of people that, um, I always say this all the time. These are definitely the type of people that you can talk to. You know, they know how to put themselves into your shoes. Okay? And just be able to give you some valuable information. These people are wise. They wise. They know what they're talking about because they're speaking from experience, things that took on, took place, and went on in their life. These people are able to sit down and really be able to have this kind of conversation with you. These people are beautiful people, you know, amazing people, okay? I know people with this placement, okay? And um, these people do um, sometimes find themselves in uh, relationships, okay, that they do put their all into, 
Okay? They put their all into time, dedication, into, okay? And like I said, their interactions with people, individuals, are very karmic in nature, okay? It really stems from a past life. Okay, a past life of dealing with people and coming back and dealing with people and coming back and dealing with people again. Okay, so they do hold these attachments, do come along with their nature. Um, these are very like mystical, magical people. Okay, so you can be pretty much very captivated by these people just meeting them, just speaking with them. Okay, they do have this um alluring charisma to them. Okay, um, these people can be very great at sex. Okay, they can really actually perfect that art. Okay, because they're so sensual and um, you know they they they. They know how to please you. You see what I'm saying? They know what to do and how to do it. You know, they're really into music. These people love to listen to music and just vibe, kick it with you. You know, just really enjoy your company. Like I said, everything with them is coming from the soul. It's coming from the soul. And then also, if it's a loved one, a family member, these people are not afraid to step up to the plate and be there for you, okay? However, sometimes they can be a little unreliable, okay? And unreliable in a sense that they may promise more than what they can deliver, but their full intent was always to deliver, okay? But you know how sometimes you just say, all right, I'll do this, and then... You forget shit. And that's another thing with them. A lot of times these people can very well forget shit because their minds, their psychological mind goes in and out from this world and the other world and another, you know, another era, another world. It's just like that. You know, they're very multidimensional, if you know what I mean multi-dimensional so even though they're physically here their mind can be going somewhere else because as i said before the sign of pisces um individuals in general they are the type of sign that daydreams a lot so every now and then they'll be drifting off and you know their mind will go here go there so a lot of times when it's time to get shit um done okay they may forget okay but all you have to do is remind them so anybody that's dealing with a mars in pisces person just know sometimes they might need that little reminding okay so that they can remember because a lot of times these people also can very well and that's another thing with neptune neptune has to do with uh escapism and so does Pisces because it's ruled by it. Escapism and um, escaping, you know, addictions and being addicted to things. So now, these people can very well be um, addicted to uh, weed. These people can be addicted to alcohol. They can be addicted to stronger drugs. These people can also be addicted to hustling. They can be addicted to selling drugs. They can be addicted to getting money. Addicted to their job. Addicted to their careers. You see what I'm saying? So, addictions doesn't have to just be, um, addictions don't have to be just drugs. It can be sexual addictions. These people can be addicted to sex, okay? Just say the shit like that. They can be addicted to sex, sexaholics. So, with this placement, um, like I said, it does have a little flip to it, okay? Because even though they are kind of poetic, at the same time, these people can very well feel disturbed when you're trying to disturb their peace. And this is where the conflict will arise, okay? Because they rather feel like this, but if you want to interrupt them, they about to go to war. They ready, Okay, don't think these people are not ready. Like I said, they are into 
the fight and they're into the martial arts and they will get it in with you. They'll pound your ass out. They don't have a problem with it, okay? They don't have a problem with it. However, they would prefer their peace. But if you fucking up the peace, then you about to get fucked up. And just know that, okay? So, what else can I say about Mars and Pisces? Yes, these people definitely love anything that has to do with nature, okay? They love learning. They love um, finding things out. They love seeking out the truth. They love anything that's going to stem their mind that way. And like I said, they're more drawn or going to be drawn to the more spiritual things of life, okay? You can very well find these people, okay, being involved into some kind of spiritual groups or um, being into uh, religious aspects and things like that because these people do seek out something else. Now, a lot of times... With this placement, these people are like, or can begin off being very much like self-made, you know, just figuring things out on their own, you know. And then a lot of times they can um, go through so much shit. I mean, this placement, they go through a lot of shit, you know, ups and downs in relationships, ups and downs in friendships ups and downs in business dealings, you know, they really trying to find that um, niche, okay, they'd rather it go smoothly though, you know, and they're about that dedication, that time, that dedication, you know, but like I said, in this placement, it has to do with the Mars, okay, so it's all about the fighting spirit and the warrior spirit, the warrior soul, and these people definitely have a uh, warrior soul, but it's more like a spiritual warrior soul, Okay, so this is why I said that they would be more pushed towards that. But definitely, if these people did get involved into that, okay, uh, they would find great um, knowledge, okay? They would feel very much more in their element, okay? They would want to know more. They would want to seek out the truth and know the full aspect on how everything is, how everything plays out. Now... This can also go two different ways, okay? So now, they could have grown up early on in life, and they could have grown up in a household, and a lot of times this does happen, grown up in a household where um, religious or spirituality was already an element inside the household. But then, you also have another group, of Mars and Pisces that could have very well um, had the streets raise them, had the streets groom them, had the streets um, kick them onto shit, put them onto shit, okay? So it could have played out either or way, okay? They could have been in a religious home and um, everything was structured in that way, so it moved them towards that way. But then it could have been the other way where it was more about, you know, getting the money, getting the bread. You know, I'm at the paper, okay? And the OGs is putting you on to how to do it. They're schooling you to the shit, making you know this is how you move, okay? So it could play out either or way. However, still in all, um, at some point in their life, they will come to some kind of realization that um, is going to probably just push them a little bit towards um, getting more in tune to the universe, getting more in tune to uh, laws of attraction and speaking things into existence, you know? Like I said, they're dreamers, so they think a lot of their goals, but um, the universe is going to probably shift that energy with inside them and have them speak it out so that it can um, fully manifest in their favor. You see what I'm saying? In their favor. So these people definitely are highly psychic. It's definitely very um, difficult to um, try to fool them. But like I said, you got to remember, even though they are 
uh, ruled by Jupiter, they're also ruled by Neptune. So Neptune brings that little hazy fogginess where these things can still creep up. These things can still happen. So a lot of time, if they're in a relationship, these people can be in an uncomfortable situation, put up with a lot of shit, have people bring them down, okay, beat them down, um, literally or mentally, okay, also just really put a lot of weight, a lot of pressure on them, okay, like I said, these people dealt with a lot of shit, so people could really just, um, drag them through the fucking mud, and, what Mars is going to do is uplift them. See what I'm saying? Uplift them and um, allow them to know their worth. Allow them to know that you're so much more than this bullshit here. You see what I'm saying? That shit right there ain't for you. But it's going to definitely take them some time because they want that intimate bond with people. With their mates, with their friends, okay? If they have a friend, it's going to be very hard for them not to um, be friends with this person no more. If it's a family member, it's going to be very hard for them not to speak to their family members. But you think the shit can't happen? It can, okay? It can still happen, okay? Eventually, these people come to a realization of whatever it is that they need to do. They come to a conclusion, Okay, you have to remember that with this placement, but this placement is a beautiful placement to have. Um, these people are very sentimental, very um, poetic. Okay, they just want peace. They want things to go smoothly, you know, and that's just a beautiful thing in a whole, <laughs> really. Um, also, these people, like I said, they're very much drawn to... Um, creative field and anything that has to do with that they are very much um driven okay driven by their emotions so you know they are a pisces sign and um pisces is a water sign okay and it's the deepest waters that you can get to okay so their emotions run very very deep and this is exactly why they want to connect with somebody on a extremely deep level, okay? Almost, like I said, it ain't almost. It's completely on a soul bond, okay? These people, why it's hard for them to just give up on somebody, why it's hard for them to just let go of friendships, why it's hard for them to not speak to family members is because it's from a soul Bond connection that's deep rooted inside them. These people are deep as fuck now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, and they wise and they know a lot of shit. They just like you can talk to these people, and these people have amazing minds. These people have amazing minds, okay? Their crafts, their gifts, the gifts that's in them, okay? And like I said, it's not just one gift that they have, they have several talents, okay? They can amaze you because they're they're very intelligent, very intelligent. These people they can be good at um, mathematics. Okay, these people can be good at being scientific, and even if they're not scientific, okay, they still withhold a lot of gifts. But they can be very scientific because religious matters, spiritual. All of this has to do with being scientific, okay? They would be doing amazing if they were astrologers. They would be amazing at that because there's so much to learn, so much to grasp. These people want to know the truth. They seek out the truth. They want to know why this is this. You know, they want to know why that is that. They want to know. They just want to know. What else can I say about the Mars and Pisces men and women? Um, these people do seek out something more deep, personal, okay? They definitely um, hold within them a, a powerful power. 
that they may not even know that they hold. But I'm going to tell you right now, these people are powerful people. These people hold something with inside their cells that they can bring out, okay? And they will show up for you in a way that is amazing, magnetic, almost magical, okay? These people are actually um, musicians, okay? They're musicians. They're poetic. They're into the arts, the music. And also, on top of that, these people um, are very much, what is the word? I'm trying to think of the word. Um, oh, God, I'm trying to think of this word. Um, they're very magical in nature, okay? Um, and it's not musician that I'm looking for. Uh, musician, okay? That's what they are. Okay, you know, when shit could just happen and they make shit arise and stuff like that, shit turns around, people that put spells on you, you almost think you're being under a spell with these people, okay? Because these people are very magical in nature like that. They have a mystical nature about them, okay? They have so much power and they really need to know anybody that's a Mars and Pisces man or woman really needs to know uh, their true power that they hold with inside themselves, okay? I know, like, with them, sometimes the things that they go through, the trials and the tribulations that they go through, it's hard for them to really know for sure, okay? Because they get a little confused with their feelings. Their feelings can be very much conflicting, you know? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I do this or not they they go back and forth with that and it really stems from past life situations and things that went on and took place these people dealt with a lot of stress and strife okay battlefield warlike situations these people have been through it all okay every last fucking sign like i said so they carry on this baggage this weight on their shoulders and that's exactly why um, they will be more drawn in towards the spiritual realm. Okay? Like I said, these people drift every fucking damn day in their minds from this world to the next. This dimension to that dimension to that dimension. To They do it. And a lot of times, like I said, they will definitely um, have... Uh, prophetic dreams. Their dreams that they have when they're sleeping are dreams that took place in one of their past lives. Okay? They can have straight up nightmares. Okay? Warlike situations going on in their dreams because it's so their mind is powerful as fuck. These minds are intriguing to me. Okay, intriguing minds to me. Okay, these people are those people. What else can I say about Mars and Pisces? These people definitely are here to make a difference in this world, one way or another. Okay, if they're going to speak out their truth, which they actually should, because in their past life, before this one. They obtained a lot of knowledge, gained a lot of wisdom up under their belt, okay? But it was more for themselves. Like, they just knew it. <laughs> you know what I mean? They just knew it for themselves. Probably talked about it to their friends and letting them know, family members too. But they didn't let it out to its full capacity out into the world. Okay, and that's why today they really look and seek all of these different things out, you know, um, and that's why they're so magical in nature, you know, very mysterious people. And a lot of times they have a lot of private thoughts. They think a lot. They, they have private thoughts. They can also be very secretive. These people can be very secretive. Okay, they think a lot of things because they have to be sure on what they're going to do. What they're going to do. So, a lot of times they could be feeling many different ways, thinking many different ways, and not communicating it out to you. 
okay? Because they want to be sure. But they do need to look out for deception, okay? Like I said, this always plays a part. People can always be out to try to take advantage of these people, okay? Uh, they may look at these people and even think they might be weak, even though they look at them and think they are wise. See what I'm saying? Because you know, people in this world are funny like that. But these people are definitely not weak at all. Very strong, wise, and powerful people, okay? They have something to offer. They have gifts to give out into this world, okay? So don't ever get it fucked up with them and think, they ain't about that shit. They about that shit. They about that life. These people about that life, okay? They have dreams and goals. They have inspirations. There's people out here that don't have a damn thought of a goal, but these people do. These people do, okay? So, I think this is all I'm going to say tonight for the Mars and Pisces, women and men. Oh, nope, got one more thing. Okay, so now, in a man's chart, it shows what a man's love nature is. In a woman's chart, it shows what she is most attracted to. So now, the Mars and Pisces woman's going to be attracted to the type of man that is um, gentle, kind in nature, that can understand her love language. Okay? She's going to want him to be about that life, about that shit too. But the Mars and Pisces woman is not going to want a man that's going to... Um, overpower her okay and a lot of people struggle with this you know authority figures and power struggles but the Pisces woman Mars and Pisces woman is not gonna want a man that's going to overpower her she wants to still be in fully uh, charge of her goals her destiny her life okay but she is going to want the type of man with the Pisces characteristics, the Pisces traits, and everything that comes along with that. Now, as far as the man in his love nature, he's going to be um, very poetic, very kind, very gentle, okay? He's going to be um, serious about the relationship, very committed. Okay, very committed in his relationship. And like I said before, they said things on a um, soul level. Okay, from the soul. So anytime that the man is going to seek out his partner, it's going to be more from the soul. And they feel like they're being connected from the soul. Okay, it's nothing superficial about this placement. Nothing at all. Everything has to do with the... um subconscious and spiritualness to it okay they definitely are going to seek out um a woman a mate that um can hold and possess these things so their partners can also very well be very mystical in nature okay very mystical very alluring and mysterious in nature they're going to look for that because that's going to be their comfortable round okay so I just wanted to say that so that's what I'm going to say about the Mars and Pisces men and women for now in future videos to come I will be going more into depth into uh, the man and his love nature and the woman and what she's most attracted to so you can get a full interpretation into those areas Okay, so be sure to check out my online store. It's www.grimygear.com. Also, if you need a caterer, be sure to hit me up. I am the chef goddess also at Supreme Royale Catering at gmail.com. If you need my husband to do any work to your home, business, or swimming pool, be sure to hit him up at a Ron 
nesbit 90 at gmail.com. I'm going to have everything in the description below for you to click on that information if you need that. Okay? So, this has been a force of nature. Spiritual awakening. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all. And you already know. I'm going to see you on the next one.